there probably is no more controversial subject right now than the issue of energy. It affects everything that we discuss. It affects every other issue. And one of the things that I find when I go out and do these talks, I will often ask people I'm speaking to, I'll say, can you describe to me what fracking is? It's become a very hot word. It's become a very controversial word. And you know, usually somebody in that conversation um, has read enough to be able to explain to me what they think it is. And what they tell me is that it is the process of drilling down into the earth, sometimes a mile and a half or thereabouts, and blasting down a mix of water, sand, and chemicals at phenomenal rates of pressure in order to fracture the rock below the surface and release the natural gas or, in some cases, oil. And I'll always tell them that's almost right. That's almost right. What it's actually doing is using that pressure to exploit existing fractures in the rock. If the rock wasn't already fractured, there wouldn't be any way to do this economically or profitably. And I argue that what's happening below the surface is, in many respects, a mirror image of what's happening on the surface. What's happening on the surface in this debate is that people with agendas that often have very little to do with the issue of fracking itself on both sides of the issue are pouring tremendous resources into these already wounded communities and exacerbating fractures in these places that have existed for decades. The tragedy that I find, I go out and I talk about this and I find that if I can determine where you stand on the issue of high volume hydraulic fracturing, I can tell with an alarming degree of accuracy where you stand on five or six or seven or eight other hot button issues in this society. And to me, that's just tragic. So if I have one mission in all of these talks that I give, it's to move it beyond that point. I think it's absolutely crucial that these issues be tackled across discipline. The reality is, is that we live in a society right now where we tend to take our positions, as I just said in terms of the, the fracturing question, the exploiting the existing fractures, where we tend to buy our narrative off the rack, where we tend to turn around and develop our attitudes and our opinions about very important issues based on what tribe we belong to. And the tribes that we belong to have their own narratives. And I think we are now at a point where it is absolutely essential that we change the narrative. The reality is, if you simply talk to scientists, if you simply talk to engineers, if you simply talk to environmental activists, you're never going to get the whole picture. Because this is something that has to be approached holistically. It has to be approached as part of our story. And storytelling is going to define where we go from here.